Hi guys, I'm 13 here. I'm just taking my dogs for a walk. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to do a quick video about charity and giving with Christmas coming and all that. And uh, uh, in general, my view on charities is don't give. <laughs> Actually, said somebody gave me a, a message recently, a private message on YouTube, uh, telling me that I should tell my viewers to give to charities more often or help you know, like support charities. And like... And yeah, in general, I say no. Don't don't give to charities. There we go. Okay, video's over. <laughs> no, um, I just don't give to the big charities. Like, like you get these big, you know, like Salvation Army and this and that, and because you know and they 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 put all this money into their advertising and this and that, and it's you know you know it's a business. You know that the they. You you know that the owner of that charity, like the president or co-founder or. CIO or whatever the hell they're called, um, is lives in a nice big rich house and drives a nice big rich car. So it's like, okay, you know, so for every dollar that I give, how much of it is actually getting to the poor people and how much of it is paying off this guy's Mercedes Benz, you know? So that's why I try to give to like little charities, things like um, Animals Taiwan, you know, because actually, and then, you know, and then I can. I can ride by there. Yeah, I can go. I can go visit them and see the dogs and see the the, the work that they're doing and see the the, the way wheelchairs they're buying for like stuff. You know, like for um, crippled, stray dogs and all this crazy uh, good stuff. <laughs> I'm out of there. Um, yeah. So, and then you know, there's a lot of times too. I think if if I if I won the lottery or something. Would I give money to charities? And again, no. I would. I don't think I'd give my money to any charities. Uh, or you know. Not much. Um, but I'd pro I always think if I win the lottery, I'd like to just hand money to individual people. Because then that way, I, I can, you know, this money is helping out this person. And that's cool. You know, I don't want to just... Anyways, yeah, you get the point. Like, I think it'd be cool just to be like, see some poor person walking down the side of the street. Or, or not some poor person, like some, some homeless person. Because fuck them, right? They're just lazy. <laughs> Um, I'm so, so not politically correct. Um, no, but like, you see poor people in, in Taiwan who are like truly, truly poor and they don't beg. Like they're, they're walking around picking up collectible, uh, not collectibles, uh, recyclables. They're like going around collecting cans and doing stuff like that. There you go. That's somebody deserve, deserving of your charity. Not some guy on the side of the street with a cardboard sign saying, give me money. I'm hungry, whatever. What about some guy that's walking around like collecting you know, garbage just to for, to recycle to get a few pennies to actually buy food. Like that's someone that's deserving of a charitable. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I have a I have a little story. I I mentioned that I went to, and like a video or two ago, I mentioned that I went to Taipei to deliver flowers to someone. That was a while ago, and um, it's an interesting story because that's a lux gin. It's made in Taiwan. And sold in Taiwan. I don't think it's sold anywhere else. And they're really luxurious. Um, the, the 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 thing with this the, the the story that makes it interesting is, it's a husband and a wife. Um, it's one of my viewers' parents, and the the wife. Um, I gotta learn how to talk. The husband and wife met when they were in high school, which is cool. They were, the the mother was born in 1955. And they met in high school. They got a, you know, they have a picture of them in high school together. And then they, they, they grew up their entire lives together. They got married. Uh, she gets sick. She's getting like a severe cough. She thinks it's pneumonia or whatever. She goes to the. Where's the gas tank on this thing? I forget. I have like two or three scooters, and then my wife's got a couple, so I get confused. Um, so the, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, so the husband. Husband, what? Oh yeah. So they took her to the hospital, and the hospital says that she's like final stages lung cancer. She's got a couple of weeks to live. Nothing they can do. Take her home. Keep her comfortable. And and the the husband refuses to believe that. So he takes her to another hospital, another hospital, another hospital. They say the same thing. They say she's she's got weeks less to live. Just make her comfortable. There's nothing nothing can be done. Husband still refuses. He goes online. He asks around. He finds a specialist who's treated late stages cancers and has had success in reversing it and extending life spans uh, 
to, to a good degree. So he takes her to this special hospital, and, and the, the treatment is extremely expensive, but he doesn't care because his wife's worth it, and he wants to do whatever he can. So they use their entire life savings. The, the grandmother, like the, the woman's mother, so I guess that's my viewer's grandmother, decides to, uh, Joe Sha'er, Jaman, Joe, Joe Er, no, no gas tank there, oh, there it is, <laughs> Jaman, ma. Jaman, yeah, it's fucking 50cc, of course I want it filled, what do you think I want, no, half fill it, I, actually, I've been, I said that last time I went, it's like, you know, it's a 50cc, it costs like two dollars to fill the tank, and I went someplace, and they're like, do you want me to fill it, I'm like, I'll fill it like one third, and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, one-third. Fill up one-third. Anyways. Oh, idiot. Fuck, you're stupid, man. If you didn't over... Okay. What oh, fucking... Let's give some charity to this guy. Help him buy a brain. Anyways, um... No, it, like, it stopped because it's full, right? It auto-offed. And then he added, like, another large amount, which probably is going to pour out the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, this video is too long. I should cut it up. So, you know, I, I was really moved by the fact that this guy's trying so hard to extend his wife's life. You know, with me, it would be like, my wife's sick, I take her to the hospital. They say, <laughs> they say she's only got weeks left. I'd be like, alright, thanks. <laughs> That's it. And I went, <laughs> No second opinions, no phoning around, nothing. And if it was, you know, and if I took her to a hospital like the one where he did and, and they needed the expensive therapy and, and they did that to me, they'd be like, um, yeah, we need like $5,000 to save your wife's life. And I'd be like, yeah, well, I would, but I'm kind of saving up for a new motorcycle. And that'd be the end of that. So, but yeah, but I have respect for this guy, you know, like his wife must be something special if, if uh... He's going through all this effort. And um, so, yeah, so they, they ended up getting these special treatments, which are extremely painful and um, hurt, hurtful. Just, yeah, painful, painful and trying on the, on the mother. But, uh, you know, she had to get surgeries, and her, her lungs kept collapsing from fluids and stuff. And it's, it's, they had to, like sticking huge needles through to her lungs and help drain them on a regular basis and just, it's just kind of horrific. Um, but she, 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 but she, she kept a positive out, outlook. When I went and visited her, she's like, oh, don't, you know, she goes, don't mind this, and I'll, I'll be out of here in a few weeks, and then we can meet again, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but she, you know, she passed away maybe a month or so after I, I visited with her. And that's the point of this, like, they were, at the time, they were trying to raise money to get more medicine for the mom and to try to keep her treatment up because the, the medicines were like each treatment cost. Each treatment was like something like 20 shots and each treatment cost something like, I don't know, I forget. It was confusing. It was because the number we were trying to, they were trying to convert to American dollars and the, the daughter was really bad at converting. But let's just say it was a lot of money. Like, I, I forget how much each treatment was costing them, like 100000 American or something like that. And uh, they ended up spending their life savings. And then, and then the, like, the, 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 the mother's mother was put her house on the market to sell it to try to raise money for her daughter, which is, you know. And uh, I, I, at the time, I said, well, I'll, I'll mention it on the video, and hopefully we can raise a bit of money through my subscribers because they're, they're fairly generous and good people and uh 
but I didn't, you know, I knew, I knew the, by the time I got the video made and everything, and I knew being a fairly pessimistic person to some degree, I guess, I don't know, realist, I don't know, that she might not be around by that time, and, uh, and see, she already, she already passed on, but, I still think about the father. The father, what a nice guy. Like, he went through all this work to try to... He fought to keep his wife alive and spent all their life savings, etc. So I was thinking it would be nice if for this Christmas we could give him a, a thank you for trying, you know, donation from us, you know, and, and you know, be, that's, yeah... You know, the guy's life savings is gone. He spent all of it trying to save his wife. It didn't work. Now he's got no wife and no money. So, and uh, I'm not going to see a penny of this. I'm not going to use my PayPal account number. I'm going to use the daughter's. So it's anything you give is just going to go straight to them. Uh, yeah. So there's, there's no, yeah, there's nothing self, there's no self whatever. <laughs> I really need to learn to speak. There's no self-motivating factors. There's no, nothing selfish about this. Um, I, normally, when when I ask for money myself, and I've done it not that many times, maybe out of my 670 videos, I've done it maybe three times. I've had three different se private series. Um, yeah, um, what I normally do is people just give, and I don't... I don't, uh, and you know, I, 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 some, you get the odd person who asks how much I got, and I don't say, it's no, it's no one's business, it's, it's my own personal finances. But in this situation, I want to do it differently. If you give something, I want you to write it in the comments below so that everyone can see how much we're raising for this, for this man. And, I, and I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for at least, a thousand dollars, believe it or not, which, uh. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna start the the the, the, the giving off with. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't know how much I have in my PayPal. I'll, I'll, between uh, maybe around fifty, thirty to fifty dollars, I'll give. I'll write it in the comments below, and uh, and then and then that'll be you know. And then so if everybody gave well, if let's, let's say twenty five dollars, if everyone gave twenty five dollars, and then what's that? Um, then you just need 40 people, that's it. 40 people out of my 50,000 50, subscribers or whatever it is. No, it's not 50,000 yet. 45,000. Out of my 45,000 subscribers, if 50 of them give, give 25 bucks, then, then we've... Is that right? 50? 40. 40. If 40 of them out of 50,000 50, can give 45,000... <laughs> can give $25, then we've, we've, we've made 1,000. But, you know, it'd be great if we can go higher than that. Um... Yeah, I just I think it would be pr pretty cool if his family just said, you know, here's a financial, you know, and then just, you know, because it's his, it's his first Christmas without his wife. She died, um, I'm not sure, I, I don't remember the date, but it was, it was, it was after, I'm pretty sure it was after Christmas. So anyways, yeah, that's my idea. Uh, I just, you know, anyways, the point of it is, is I, I think it would be, uh, something really special like honestly I'm not, like I think this kind of giving giving to, to a man who who's just you know really down on his luck and and has lost a, a lot he's lost his life savings and his and his soulmate in one year so I think it'd be good if we could help with at least some of that anyways that's my idea uh, I'll, I'll give you um, their PayPal address in the link to the video I mean, in the video description, so you just uh, copy paste that somewhere, or it'll be it'll probably. I can just use like an email address. So you can just take that email address, go to PayPal.com, and then say give money to this pay, this email address, and then write how much you give in the comments below, so we we can see as a group how how the numbers rise and, and what the tally is. Because I won't know either, because I won't have access to the account, so I won't know how much money they're getting. <laughs> and I want my ten percent. I mean, um, I mean, um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> It's 100% going to them. <laughs> so, yeah. That's that's my idea for, for something charitable this holiday season. And, and it'd be nice if you guys could help out with it. And it was my birthday yesterday. So you can do it as a birthday favor to me.